Welcome back. The cold snap is over, even though it's still eh, 32 in my shop. Whatever, uh, we're gonna get into it. So here's what we did the last couple days, even while it was really cold. We got the, uh, the frame mounts, body mounts, whatever you wanna call them. We got them all taken out of the truck. We got four inch blocks under there to just get it up a little bit so that I can start working on some of the frame and working on the cab. And you can see there's stuff there because I just finished cutting off the running board there. Yeah, that just came from the running board. Um, and I also cleaned underneath the truck because I had to get jack stands and stuff. So as I was trying to keep everything, I filled a five gallon pail of rust and everything that was just underneath this truck. That's it. But we got her all jacked up. She's supported on the frame rails. And uh, we're gonna show you what we're gonna get into today. So, we pulled the strip off on the bottom and we cut that last running board off. This side is not as bad as the other side, even though it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, we've got a new skin coming in for the bottom of the door. We've got the new A pillar coming in. I already have the front and the inner and outer rocker and I have the cab corner. Um, doing more research, uh, the regular cabs did not have interior cab corners or inner cab corners. They have just a plastic panel in there. Do I know why? No, I don't. So I decided to not even bother ordering them. Uh, so that saved about, uh, I think about a hundred bucks for the pair of them shipped, free shipping. Uh, so the pair of door skins, just the inners, the A, uh, the A pillars and under here, that floor support, those two ribs right there, one piece, uh, came to just about 500 bucks. Not terrible, and like I said in the other video, the other three pieces, one, two, three, those were like 300 bucks uh, in, in one uh, place that I found them. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to cut a lot of the big rust out just so that it's easier to, for me to get to the spot welds, and uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll bring you guys back because I'm going to pull the weather stripping off so that I can drill out all the spot welds, pull this side off. I think I'm going to do this side first, uh, just because it's bad. And it's, well, it's not as bad as the other side, so it's going to be some practice. And uh, those, those parts should be in on Thursday. It is Sunday, so I've got some time. And uh, once I get this done, I'm going to get back onto the frame. All right, so as you saw in the beginning of the video, which was last Sunday, um, I've been extremely busy with work. It warmed up. We got a lot of stuff done. Um, and you saw in the time lapse, I did the outer rocker panel on the driver's side. I'm going to show you what we got done over here, prepped and ready to go. Um, I just finished painting the leaf springs for the front. So what we did is these were from the original pack. These were from the original pack. This was another pack that I pulled apart, cut shorter, and I'm putting three in the front. Why? Why not? Um, for those of you wondering, this is the 
tool that I'm using to drill out all the rivets, or uh, not the rivets, spot welds. It's 20 bucks on Amazon. This bit is changeable. This is the only bit that I've used and I did everything on the passenger side with it and some on the driver's side with it. And I've only used one bit. Um, it comes with like 14 more. So I should be able to drill out everything on that side and any others that I need to. Um, you've got a point at the end and it's on a spring. Works pretty well. What I recommend is when you're drilling out the spot weld, take, where is it? Take a punch, punch the center, and then that'll help keep this point in the center when you're drilling it out. I like it, it's great. Like I said, this is the only bit that I've actually used so far. And I've got, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but one of the teeth is kind of munched up pretty bad. So I need to change that. But it's working great. I'm happy with it. And for 20 bucks, you can't beat it. Anyway, panels came in. Floor supports, left and right side. These are the outer rocker skins. These are the lower A pillars, nice and thick. I'm very happy. I'm very pleased with how thick this is as compared to the other stuff. Um, cab corners, I already had them, both sides. These are the inners, and what we have to do is see these holes here? That's where um, running boards were originally mounted. So I'm gonna cover those up. I'm gonna cover up all the other holes because I don't, I'm not putting running boards back on it that mount to the cab. I'm gonna make ones that mount to the frame that are just different. Um, why? Because I don't like cab mounted ones. They're not, it's not worth it. Um, so let's show you a couple other things. We went to the steel store, so I got the tubular steel for the scissor to mount it to the bed. I got the piece of C channel that I need to fix the piece that was cut out of the frame on the flatbed. And then I got a piece of thick steel and thinner steel so that I can mount it to the hinges so that the bed is removable and not permanently welded on. I think I went over it in one of the previous videos that just due to not being able to remove these pins, I don't want to weld this right to the bed. I'm going to weld a plate to it and put a flange on it and bolt the bed to this. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. That's how I'm doing it. So I can make sure that it's easy to change if something were to happen or if it got damaged or broken or whatever easy access to this. Now, um, there's quite a bit of a mess, but here's what we did. I didn't do anything to the doors yet. I'm still waiting on the skins to come in, which is fine. They're supposed to be here tomorrow. Um, here's that piece of plastic that I was telling you about that the regular cabs have. It's got some foam on it. Um, so I'm going to have to put some sealer on here when I put the actual cab corner on. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving this because the cab, the new cab corners are so much larger. I'm going to go right to this body line where it angles down. So I'm going to cut the new piece to this and just follow it all the way in and follow it all the way over. We drilled these rivets. Why do I keep calling them rivets? Uh, we drilled these spot welds out. Um, this was a little too thick, so I got to drill that one a little deeper. Um, we got this measured and cut, and I unfortunately cut a little too far to the backing plate. It's fine, I can just weld it back up, but it's still a little rotted here. I've got to take the, uh, the floor supports out, and then here for the back panel, the back cross member that goes across the whole thing. I can't find this. So I'm gonna have to probably cut here and make this, which is fine, not a big deal. I'm not too worried about it. it's regular thin gauge steel, so it's nothing fancy. Um, this is all prepped. I ground it all down and I got this cut and measured up to here for the, uh, the rocker panel back plate. So this is all prepped here, ready to go. I have to, unfortunately, take the door off 
because it'll be easier for me to measure, mark, and cut this lower A pillar. Um, and then I can clean all this up. I'm waiting for a seam sealer to come in, which is coming in on Tuesday. So realistically, the only thing that I can do is just continue prepping this side. Um, I'm gonna take the door off and get this prepped and cut. Um, and uh, once, I get, once I get ready to start putting it back together, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bring you guys along with it. I did not do anything else on that side aside from just the outer rocker panel so that um, I can show you guys how and where I'm making marks and doing stuff. Same thing with the door. I'm going to do this one practice, make sure it goes well, do that. And uh, I ordered new uh, weather stripping for the bottom because the one that was in here was kind of crappy, falling apart. Oh, there's my center punch. There you go. Use that. You need it. It'll help. Other than that, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to do a quick, quick update because... Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on where it's been real warm for the last week. People are calling. We've been getting real busy. So if you like what you see, uh, give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, we're going to get more in depth on some of the, the body panel changes. And I think I've finally made the decision that I'm going to pull the cab. So I'll bring you guys along for that. And uh, hopefully by the next time that I do an update, the springs will be together and we're going to do a big series on pulling the Dana 60 apart. So stick around. I'll see you next time.